Mix it with my boot camp tip. Vocal parallel chains, or building vocal parallel chains. One of the problems that we often have with a vocal is dealing with problems like sibilance and harshness and brightness and things that make it difficult to bring the presence energy that we kind of want out of something or the tonal character we want out of something or the ability for the vocal to really appear solidly in the speaker. And a lot of that cannot be accomplished through simple EQ or forms of compression. It usually is put together by some form of paralleling. So if I have a vocal here, I'm just going to, you know, put this in and just AB something that I've just very quickly whipped together here just for the vocal, basic vocal sound, the core basic vocal sound, which is just a simple compression, a simple averaging compression, and a simple EQ, nothing radical, just to sort of uh, shape the basic characteristic tone. So if we start without it, what you'll hear is a vocal that has got a lot of proximity. It's kind of a little bit on the woofy side. So let's have a listen here. You know I'll wait, I'm standing in place. You kick it with her, you know I'm for ya. But you can't deny me when you close your eyes. Okay, and then what I've done here is just a simple shelf up for high frequency. So just a couple dB, 1.5K and up. Um... Just to get rid of some of the woofiness here, a little over 300, pulling that back down a couple of dB, about a dB and a half. The mid bands are left alone. I often find that EQing out, you know, uh, boxiness and things like that often leaves the vocal sounding hollow. So we'll kind of work a little bit on the outer edges of this first. And then a simple RMS compression. This is something where you have a fast attack and release, so it's very responsive. Low threshold right? Minus 20. So it's the threshold is kind of embedded in the RMS energy and a very light ratio, just so you get like about a trickle of gain reduction, about 3 dB or so of gain reduction. And we'll trace or track the vocal a little bit, right? So let's just AB this in and out. You know I'll wait, I'm standing in place. You kick it with her, you know I'm for ya. But you can't deny me when you close your eyes. Being alone, my time is on ya Seeing the sun fading away Hope you know this ride can only go so far The way you looking I didn't notice till then Who you fooling Cause I don't believe your lies no more So that helps to open up the sound a bit Now let's kind of work in something where we can dive in and get a little bit more character So uh, one of the ways that I often do this is through the use of like a parallel chain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the track here. I'm going to keep all the existing uh, information that I have on it. So now I have a track that I can bring in, in parallel. There's a couple ways to do this. Another way to do it is to use a send and some kind of an auxiliary return. That can also work, especially if you're mixing in more than a couple of vocals. Like if you have... Um, uh, like multiple parts and it's broken up into verses and choruses and you want to apply the same processing to both, you could put it in an aux return and use sends. Sometimes using that little pre-fader uh, often works better and then you can group together the returns so that they're all linked together. Either way, we'll do it the simple way here. Now, one of the ways that you can bring the focus in on a vocal is by taking some form of a compression. Like so, for example here, if I just take like the like a Fairchild compressor here, um, this actually works uh, quite well for something like this. What I want is something that has like a fast attack and a long release. So a lot of the broadcast limbers, like an LA-2A works really well. Uh, 2254 can work really well if you want warmth. Um, uh, this works really well. Uh, Fairchild, uh, LA-3A, sort of similar to the LA-2A. Okay, um, and 1176 doesn't quite work in that. It works better as a pump and breathe kind of compression. I'll demonstrate a little bit of that. But the idea here is we want really heavy compression, and, and I'll show you why this is going to work. So let's just start by dialing it in here. You're not going to hear it at first. I have the fader down, but let me just... You know I'll wait. I'm standing in place. You kick it with her. You know I'm for ya. But you can't deny me when you close your eyes. Been alone, my time is on ya Seeing the sun fading away Hope you know this ride can only go so far 
Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm putting it in parallel here. I'm going to I'm find it's 10 dB is kind of a nice sweet spot to shoot for. You can see how long it takes to recover there, and I'm going to blend it in. Now, you might say, why not do this with a plug-in where you can just parallel it, you know, and just use a mix control, and you're going to see why in a minute. So hold on, and I'll show you. So now I'm going to mix this in. Now, this part of this where... If I overmix this in, it's going to sound thin and pinched. If I mix in just the right amount, you'll hear the vocal kind of come into focus. All right, so uh, let's check it out. You know I'm away, I'm standing in place. You kick it with her, you know I'm for ya. But you can't deny me when you close your eyes. Being alone, my stomach's is on ya. Seeing the sun fading away. Hope you know this ride can only go so far. The way you looking, I didn't notice till then Who you fooling, cause I don't believe your lies no more when you're talking So what's happening here, and you could hear this not a major level difference But what you're getting is you're getting something that's basically just smashing down the peak signal Kind of pulling or gluing the whole sound together So throughout the frequency spectrum you have a little bit more evenness in it You're just really crushing everything down as a way to kind of control it and create a focus. This is different from a pumping and breathing style of compression where you would get something to more or less kind of, you know, pump or breathe in and out and you're just to kind of get it to be alive. And, you know, and I can demonstrate that that can also work really well as a parallel and sometimes even on, on the main track. What's really cool about this is now I have the ability to sort of throw something else on here that allows me to give it a tonal coloration. So let's go to like one kind of a s extreme here. Uh, I normally would call it like a Sans Amp plugin, which is only available in Pro Tools. This is a very cool one. It's the same. It's just a um, emulation of a, the um, Sans Amp uh, rack mount thing. And this adds like some really cool tonal coloration. So it's bringing in some distortion. And we're not bringing this in for like this heavy, like kind of gnarly kind of distortion. But what the distortion does is it brings more frequency energy within particular frequency bands. And what that does is it adds density to that particular area. So it's like putting more energy content in an area that might be hollow or deficient in the vocal, right? And so I'll show you how this works. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to keep the the Fairchild kind of open here just so I can match the level here and kind of keep this at a consistent gain reduction. But just watch as I go through it here. You know I'm away, I'm standing in place. You kick it with her, you know I'm for ya. Right, so that gives me some nice warmth, right? You know I'm away, I'm standing in place. You kick it with her, you know I'm for ya. But you can't deny me when you close your eyes. Been alone, my stomach's is on ya. Seeing the sun fading away. Hope you know this ride can only go so far. The way you looking, I didn't notice till then. Who you fooling? Cause I don't believe your lies no more when you're talking. I just know you're clowning. Who you fooling? Cause I don't believe your lies no more. You're trying, he you loves me, thinking that you. See, like that brings out that kind of marbly, you know, like cotton balls in the mouth kind of sounds. Like I can pull that out. You know, I'll wait. I'm standing in place. You kick it with her, you know, I'm for ya. But you can't deny me when you close your eyes. Been alone, my stomach is on ya. Seeing the sun fading away. Hope you know. So, what happens here is when I push the presence into the compressor here, the compressor sort of clamps down on everything and glues it together so it holds it. Because what happens is if you do that kind of boost on the main track with its natural dynamic, the the transient is just going to shoot out and cut through you like a knife and you're going to end up with all kinds of sibilance problems and that's kind of a classic thing that most people get so this or a tool like this or even using some kind of uh you can also do something like an Aphex you know um like I like this uh, vintage exciter do some kind of like an exciter type of effect where we can bring it in you know I'll wait, I'm standing in place You kick it with her, you know I'm for ya But you can't deny me when you close your eyes 
been alone This time is on ya Seeing the sun fading away Hope you know this ride can only go so far Right, so now if I if I group the two tracks together I can now, uh, well, let's just call it uh, lead vocal, right? And now I can um, blend this in. Now, this track is very, very raw, so keep that in mind here. Uh, all my groups are disabled. That probably explains that. Here we go. You're always standing in place. You kick it with her. You know I'm for ya. But you can't deny me when you close your eyes. Been alone, this time is on ya. Seeing the sun fading away. Hope you know this ride can only go so far. The way you look in, I didn't notice till then. Who you fooling? Cause I don't believe your lies no more when you're talking. I just know you're clowning. Who you fooling? Cause I don't believe your lies no more. So now what I have is the natural dynamic of the original performance. I have something that's really like a, this super dense, tight kind of ball of energy there that kind of embodies all of the aspects of the sound that I want to bring in. And now I can blend this in in parallel. And what it allows me to do is it allows me to work with this original vocal in a more natural way where I'm not trying to beat it up. So now if I apply some compression, maybe like a tube tech, something that will kind of follow the vocal and kind of, you know, glue the overall uh, gain or levels from line to line, kind of pull it together, and then this ends up being the glue. When I bypassed all of the plugins here, that was just to show you that it's not just because I'm adding gain, because often when you just add gain, things sound clearer. But I try to structure this as a unity, so when I take it out, basically the same level, but then you hear the tonal shift and difference. It's a simple idea, right? Just ram it into the, you know, to the car crusher, into the, you know, compactor, and then take that dense energy and kind of mix it in. And this is the type of sound you hear over and over on records where that vocal just feels like it's right in front of your face and just right uh, and sitting there. So, uh, all right, there you have it. This is your uh, boot camp tip just working with just some quick ideas on some vocal parallel chains. There's many, many different variations of this, and every situation is a little bit different uh, where you can mix these kind of things in for distortion, for uh, those sort of heavy filtered distortion type of effects, and, and there's many variations like this, and you can find all of those types of things demonstrated in uh, the Mixing with Mike boot camp. So uh, when you get a chance... Go to mixingwithmike.com, check it out. It's a 52-week program where you can uh, study the art of mixing uh, through the lens of music production. Uh, there are uh, commercial mix reviews every week, so I talk about all the techniques that are used in the productions and, and in the mixing of individual songs, develop that into mixing strategies, and then you apply those strategies through all the different many multi-tracks that you get throughout the course, and you'll learn techniques just like you learn here in uh, this simple vocal parallel chain tip as uh, one way to kind of bring out that extra little uh, something special in the vocal sound for your mix. All right, there you have it, uh, boot camp tip, vocal parallel chains.